Israel-Iran War News Live Update Biden government investigation indicates Israel's use of U.S.-provided weaponry likely breached international law. The Biden administration believes Israel broke international law with U.S. weaponry. On stage at the U.N. General Assembly, Israel's ambassador shredded the U.N. charter using a paper shredder, major fire breaks out in Israeli city after Hezbollah rocket strike. The Times of Israel reports that Hezbollah fired 35 missiles into Kiryat Shmona, northern Israel, starting a big fire. Israel Fire and Rescue Services reported 10 firefighting teams on the scene. The fire appeared on a hillside in social media footage. There have been no injuries or deaths. Who voted for Israel at the UN and why did most Pacific Island nations? By U.S. correspondent Mark Stone. Today, most nations voted for the Palestinians at the UN. Who and why did the nine countries vote against Palestinian UN membership, rights, and privileges? Israel. The current Israeli administration opposes a Palestinian state in every way. Different Israeli governments have debated two nations, but after the October 7 Hamas attacks, Israel declared no two states, no Palestinian state. They generally don't discriminate between Hamas fanaticism and the moderate Fatah-run Palestinian Authority in the West Bank. The essence of deadlock. Who else? The U.S. They support Israel despite tensions between President Joe Biden and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. America supports a two-state solution, but it starts with a ceasefire and a Palestinian state after, after the vote, White House spokesperson John Kirby said, we still support a two-state solution and Palestinian independence. Presidential Biden remains totally committed to that. We voted no because we think direct negotiations with the parties are better than a UN vote. As usual in geopolitics, ties are symbiotic and mutually beneficial, even when they seem mismatched. Hungary Eastern European EU member voted for Israel, against Palestinians. Don't presume hard-right Hungarian Prime Minister Orban's loathing of Hungarian-born Jewish U.S. billionaire George Soros reflects his views on Israel, despite the anti-Soros narrative being anti-Semitic. Since the Second World War killed half a million Jewish Hungarians, Republican anti-Semitism has plagued Hungary's right. Orban and Netanyahu are longtime allies. Israel and Hungary share interests. Orban admires Netanyahu's approach of creating strength from a small nation-state, and the two leaders sought to counter liberal democratic headwinds. Netanyahu's view that Europe is growing anti-Israel matches Orban's EU fallout. Netanyahu and Soros haters believe Soros is trying to Islamize Judeo-Christian Europe with his pro-immigration position. Argentina New populist President Javier Milei, who supports Netanyahu and wants to shift Argentina's embassy to Jerusalem, drove Argentina's vote. Milei plans to become Jewish. The Czech Republic The Czech Republic voted for Israel, continuing its pro-Israel position since October 7. Czech politicians and the Zionist movement have a rich history that helped strengthen the Jewish state after communism fell in 1989. New Democracy Czech Republic connected with Young Democracy Israel. Recently, economic ties have grown. Island Pacific Nations Ironically, Micronesia, Papua New Guinea, Nauru, and Palau are Pacific Island nations. Simple soft power drives their support. All minor developing nations receive considerable government and charity funding from Israel. Their agreement is to always back Israel and international bodies where they are members. Israel says its aim is humanitarian, but officials admit it's also about improving its image. Israel adeptly applies its skills in numerous fields. Israeli rescuers typically arrive early at natural disasters. This targeted soft power diplomacy has helped Israel win votes and abstentions from several nations. In this Palestine vote, global opinion was decisively against Israel.